guys, welcome back, and today we're doing Final Cut Pro Basics Part 1. We're going to be doing Final Cut Pro Interface and Basic Editing. Before I jump into it, I just want to say Final Cut Pro is really good editing software. I use it for all my videos and even for my thumbnails. Whether if you want to bring your editing skills to the next level, or just haven't edited a single video before, you will still find useful information in this video. Okay, so I'm gonna get off the face cam, so it's gonna be easy for you to see. Okay, so now we're on the interface of Final Cut Pro. In the middle is usually gonna be empty, that's like your main view. And then on the left side, you have all your imported clips and it's gonna be empty the first time you open it. And I'm gonna come back to this in a second because there's something really important that you have to know first. First, you wanna go on the top left where it says file, then you click in it and you, then you click new. It'll say project event and library, so you wanna click library. And you're gonna name your library whatever you want, and but in this case, I'm just gonna name it Final Cut Pro. And then you just click save. Now you come back to the file, new, and then you click event. You see there's two libraries, Essentials and uh, FCPX, Final Cut Pro X, but we just wanna click that. And then I'm gonna name the event the same as the library, FCPX. Then you click OK. Then you're going to go to file again, new, and then you want to create your new project. And that's the video you're going to work on, basically. And I'm going to call this a uh, sample. You see now on the left, I have nothing. But if I click essentials, then it's going to be there. You see, all the files are there. But this basically I'm showing you from scratch. Now I'm going to go from the top and then I'm going to go to really important effects. So if you want to import some media or anything, then you click the top left arrow pointing down. You see, we have all this stuff like pictures, music, and downloads. I usually pick downloads. For example, we're going to choose this clip. And here's our clip, so we can put it in the timeline in a second. So if you want to use this clip, basically drag it on your timeline. If you want to add some sound effects or music, click on the top left. And now all the sound effects with Final Cut Pro opened. And this is all the music that I have. Right on the bottom of your video viewer, on the left, you have a couple of tools as well. So I'm gonna mark the clip and show you quickly. First, you have a transform tool. So once you click transform, you can make your smaller or bigger or even rotate it around. You see it like that. Next, we have a crop tool, which is very important if you have green screen or basically you just want to take some part of the video. You see, I'm not shrinking the video, I'm just cropping it. And then you have a distort tool. I, only, I barely use this. And if you click the top right blue area, then you can see it from a different angle, your video. You see, like that. If, and if you want to reset everything to the original position, then on the top right, it says reset and you click it. So over here, you have some other effects. You have bounce color and match color. So you can match the color approximately to the previous clip. And then you have some little audio tools. And the third icon is basically timing and speed. So you can make it fast or slow. And obviously the clip has to be recorded properly first. So you can select how much you want to speed it up or slow it down or even do custom speed. So if you want to boost it three times instead of two or four, then click custom and then write how much percent you want to speed up the clip and then click enter. And now this clip is going to go three times faster. And obviously on the bottom of your main view, you have the play button, of course. Also over here where it says 25.05, that's the time when I stop the video. And on the bottom of that, it says 35.06, which is the total length of the video. Now we go to the most exciting part. On the right hand side, that's your inspector. So when you apply an effect, you can customize it to your preference. And on the bottom where it says effects, you have video effects and audio effects. And then you have a lot of effects like 360, basics, blur, color, color presets, comic looks, keying, and there's just a lot more things. And same with the audio effects. You have distortion, echo, and a lot more. And you can even change your voice. 
you can see there's all these voice effects. And then on the right of all these effects, you have transitions. So we have basic ones, lights, and everything else. Additionally, there's, you can customize the view of your video. So if you're like trying to mask out something or doing an effect and you want to be very specific, you see this percentage, then you can even make it bigger than your video frame. And then you can basically move it on the right side with this tool. Now this is very important. And if you don't have a computer that runs really fast, then you can make the software run better on your computer. So click the arrow next to view. Over here where it says media, there's optimize and proxy, and I usually click optimize, and then it says quality. So you can either have better quality or better performance. If you have like a really good computer, then better quality, but for most users, I'll prefer better performance. Just because you picked better performance, that doesn't mean the quality of your video is gonna go down. But your viewing quality will go down slightly and your total quality will stay the same. It's just that your Final Cut Pro software is gonna run more smooth. Above the clip of the timeline, you have this tool selector. I usually choose the pointer, which usually means select. There is also a bunch of stuff like trim, position, and also blade, but you don't need the blade to cut the clip. Then there's this other important tool, which is snapping. So as soon as I drag it into the files, you see that blue line, if I let go, it's gonna snap together to the other clip. Always your view is gonna go from the top and then go to the bottom. So right now we have this clip on top, obviously. The amazing part about this uh, editing software is you can put up to 50 layers of video on top of each other, as long as your computer can handle it and you can adjust it separately. Additionally, you have smart collections in here. And let's say you're looking for a specific clip and you have to scroll down like hundreds of clips, but in smart collections, it just gets rid of that. Now I wanna choose song for my clips, then you click audio only. And now you have only songs or any other audio. And on the right side, you have an export tool. And then you have all these different options. So then you can export the clip to a master file or even YouTube. But you obviously you have to be logged into YouTube first. Now I'm gonna jump to the editing part, but before that, just quickly, the comment today and shout out goes to Hypex444. And this person says, why don't you make a color intro? I would recommend to you Panzoid. Love your videos, keep going. Well, I liked my intro to be honest, but thank you for the suggestion. And now let's jump to actually how to edit in Final Cut Pro. So obviously you already have your project opened. Then we're gonna take the first clip and then you just drag it to the timeline. And if you wanna cut out some part in the beginning, there's two ways to do it. You can hold the beginning of the clip and drag it forward until the selected part is already there. Also, if you wanna be more specific, you can zoom into the timeline and you can do that by pinching out into the trackpad and then move the line itself into the specific point that you want to cut. And now it's easy, you go to the blade tool or click command B on the computer. And there you go, it's cut. And now we'll delete the clip that you don't want. So mark it and click delete. If you want some face cam or some other layer, then drag that clip on top of the other clip. Then obviously click the transform tool and then resize it to the size you want. And here's your corner face cam for example. And if you want your voice to be heard in the video because of the gameplay throughout, so first you can lower the main clip. So on the timeline, on the clip, at the bottom of the clip, there's gonna be this audio and you just adjust it. Now you mark the face cam clip and then on the top right side, there's gonna be like a little speaker. So you click that and then you can adjust it to the specific level that you want. In my case, I always adjust it the same way, but you can adjust it the way you like it. And then there's noise removal. It's not fully sophisticated, but it helps. Now, if you want face cam on green screen, you drag the clip down. Then you can adjust the size later, but now we're just gonna focus on making it perfect. So go to here, then drag the effect to the clip. And now it's key. To have a clean key above the inspector, you see on the top it says a movie icon. And once you click it in the middle, it says view. And then there's three different positions. The first position is how you see it. The second position is like a white figure in a black background. 
And that's the one you want to use it to see if your king is good. And you see on the bottom left corner, there's like a white residue. So we have to get rid of that. So we go to mat tools and adjust it. And you see now there's no white residue in the area. And then of course adjust it to the proper size. And you can customize any single effect. Also, if you want to add some music additionally, on the top left there's this music. And then choose something that's not copyrighted, especially for YouTube. So if you want to add the song, then mark it and drag it down. And even if you want to drag it on top, it's, then it's going to instantly drop to the bottom. So Final Cut Pro made some improvements recently. And if you want to increase your volume gradually, like not start away at full volume, then you just drag this little dot forward. You see, between the beginning of the clip and this dot, it's going to gradually increase the audio. And if you want to cut the clip shorter, same thing, from the beginning, you drag it forward. Then you have additionally cool things like text and generators. And that is what I'm going to do in the next tutorial. And make sure to check out part two. It's going to be here soon. I also post videos like these every single week. So subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.